Hello everyone. Uh, I just had a rather stressful experience, so I thought I would make a meditation vlog. Uh, my face is going to be a little diluted because the stressful experience was dentistry. Dentistry right here, yes. Um, and going to the dentist is a stressful experience no matter what, because they're drilling into your mouth. Uh, but, you know, there's all of these sort of, like, architectural, uh, social, structural things that make it an even more stressful experience than just the experience of drilling. Uh, I'm sitting in my car, so I had to drive to the dentist through traffic, stress number one. Uh, stress number two, you cannot see from behind me, uh, but I am sitting in the parking lot of a very large mall. The dentist was in the mall. Um, so that was quite a capitalist experience to park in the gigantic parking lot and go through the mall and have all of these things being thrown at my face by this, by this, by this, when you have your mouth drilled. Um, and I succumbed to the, the, the capitalist advertisements uh, because I knew that it was going to be a stressful thing when I got to the dentist office and I thought, oh gee, you know it would be really great if I could put artificial music into my brain lobes uh, so that I could go to a different place while there is drilling happening in my mouth. But of course I forgot my headphones, but what do you know, I'm in a mall and I have a job now so I can afford to spend my money a little bit frivolously. So, I asked the secretary, hey, would it be okay if I stepped out and got some headphones before my appointment started? And she said, sure, that's fine. And so I thought it was fine. And so I went, and I went to the Verizon store, and I pondered all of the different headphones. There were like 15 different varieties, ranging from $20 to $200. And I thought about all the pros and cons, and all of the high-tech High definition Bluetooth spectrographic headphones that that the world wants to sell me, and I decided to buy the cheaper one, cheapest one, because I don't have that much money. So I spent twenty dollars on a pair of headphones, and I was sort of marveling about the whole experience of walking through the mall and and all of this capitalist spectacle. And you know, it's very pretty in there actually, in this strange kind of way. It's well lit and there's music and it smells like pastries and you're just wandering around and like, oh look at all those nice things and and it was just like kinda eerie and, and like really fascinating from like a architectural perspective. Like why would we make these places and like why would people hang out in them? Like I guess it's nicer than a lot of places but it's also like so artificial and I don't know, I could talk about malls for a long time so I was having a conversation about malls to myself while I was plugging in my headphones and I was like oh this is gonna be kind of nice I did the capitalist thing I bought the thing and now I'm gonna have my mouth drilled and it's gonna be an experiment and an adventure and I'm gonna have all these strange surreal experiences and uh, then I got to the dentist office and the dentist said you're late and I was like but I was just here and and I, I didn't have headphones, and then your secretary said I could go get some headphones. What do you mean I'm late? And he's like, well, you ate up your appointment time with your headphone buying. I was like, what? Nobody told me this. I asked the secretary, hey, can I go? And she said yes. She didn't say, well, yes, but you're going to use up your appointment time when you do it. And um, so I felt stupid for for going to spend money on a thing that I didn't need and eating up my appointment time. I had to go back. That was the thing, is uh, they said, you have two cavities, we can do one cavity today, but the second cavity, you'll have to make another appointment to go back. So, I have to go back to the dentist now, but I, so I felt stupid for wasting my money and my time on a frivolous headphone adventure, instead of my time having my mouth drilled, which is what is supposed to be happening. Um, I felt stupid, and I also felt misinformed because the secretary could have said, you know, there's not really time for that because we're on a strict schedule and if you want both your teeth fixed, then you really should stay here. And then I would have stayed. So I felt misinformed and I felt stupid and consumerist for being seduced by all of the advertising into buying a new pair of headphones. And, um, and, and then, and then it's mostly just shock. And, uh, 
I think this is actually what I want to make this video about. I'm sorry, we're five minutes in before I actually get to the point. This is supposed to be a meditation video, not a Maximus Vents at You video. Um, but I've had, you know, a number of upsetting things happen to me over the course of my life. It tends to happen. And I'm starting to realize that I think what's most upsetting about an upsetting event is not the event itself, but it's the readjustment of expectations. That's what's painful, because you have this expectation that one thing is going to happen, and then all of a sudden, without any warning, a new thing happens. And it's a thing that you would prefer wouldn't happen, compared to the thing that you were hoping would happen. And, and so it's like, all of a sudden you get thrown into this, this environment, right? This, this, this reality that you, that you didn't ask for and that you don't want. And, and that's what's painful, is this, like, this, this feeling of being pushed into a cold pool. Of, of without any warning, everything changes and, and, and your life is worse. Because, um, you know, in, in, as far as things go, having to make a second a dentist appointment isn't that bad. I have to have drills in my mouth twice in a week, rather than, or twice in a month, I guess, rather than once. And I have to drive to the mall twice rather than once. I have to eat up, like, a whole, you know, a whole two hours of my day, two or three hours, preparing for this rather stressful drilling experience, and then, and then, uh, you know, adapting to it, and then getting over it. That's what I'm doing now. I'm talking to you in order to get over this stressful experience that I had. Um, so I have to do that twice rather than once, and I have to fit it into my very busy schedule because I'm such a busy American. Uh, so that that's disappointing. But, like, really, in the long run, that's, like, really not a big deal. I just have to make another appointment and, and be in an unpleasant environment for longer, like, two hours longer than I would have if I were responsible and didn't buy the headphones, or if the secretary was responsible and told me what would happen uh, when I asked to leave. And, um... I thought about getting really angry at the doctor and being like, well, I'm not going to give you my business anymore if you don't drill both my teeth today. And I still don't think I'm going to give him my business because it was a really stressful experience to go to this mall. I think I'm going to look for a better dentist in a different location. But, you know, I don't know how that works. I've got insurance. They tell me where to go. Um, yay, society putting us in boxes. Yeah. Um, but to go back to, to my point about surprise and being tossed into a pool, I think that's really what upset me more than anything else. It wasn't it wasn't the, the logistics of the situation because they're very reasonable and many worse things, you know, like like losing your arm or things happens to people. And I'm glad that I have, you know, subsidized health care so that my mouth can stay healthy forever. So we all, in general there's a lot to be grateful for. Um, but I was just upset because things changed on me without warning. And it's weird how things like that can reverberate in your mind. Like I um, they were reverberating so much that I didn't feel like I could drive home and that I needed to sit in a car and think about it and, you know, just sort of, like, calm myself down after the event. And, like, that that's like means it's, like, a pretty serious emotional upset for me. Um, that doesn't happen every day. And, uh, and uh, so I was trying to think, like, why am I upset? Like, why am I, why are my memories of this thing, like, coming back and coming back and me, like, feeling really resentful, like, angry at the dentist, like, oh, you know, I should have told him a new one, or I, you know, like, oh, I'm or angry at the dentist, angry at myself for not realizing the time, angry at the world for forcing me to be into all of these, you know, like, boxy situations where my, the things I can do are so limited. Um, you know, there's a lot to be angry at, and, like, so why, why is my brain doing this? Like, why am I so upset about this fairly trivial thing, you know, why is it that I, like, put the keys in my car and then I have a flashback of the dentist being like, oh, yep, you have to come back, like, without saying anything, um, before that, and so, so I was thinking about that. I'm gonna slow down my talking, um, because the next part of this is gonna be a meditation, um, Maybe I'll do a new video, because it's been nine minutes. So that's my, my story, my preamble to this meditation. Uh, we're going to sit together for about ten minutes now. Okay.